Hey folks, G Hondo here, and welcome back to Auction Not Included. This is episode 36. In the last episode, we had some fun with our little pit buddy here. Uh, we got him to plant some wart for us down there, and I'm trying to get him to plant this pincha. I don't really scream he'll need it, I just kind of want it. I'm uh, just also not sure why he won't do it. Unless maybe this is too close to this. I know they like to keep things separated by a square, so maybe I'll get rid of this and see. I only want to keep it there so the actual seed would be closer, but maybe that's actually throwing him off. I'm not sure. On the subject of critters, though, i was been thinking a lot about actually the oil problem, i.e. the fact that we don't have any, and I remember that one of the alternates of the Dreco specifically is the glossy Dreco, and that, if I can find it here, I mean, they still produce phosphorite, which is helpful, but they can be sheared for plastics, which we need. The normal Dreco, I think, are sheared for reed fibers, I want to say. I'm just trying to spin through this here without taking too much time here. Pretty sure. I'm not seeing it here, but I'm pretty sure that's the way things are. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to want to be getting into Dreco ranching, specifically glossy Drecos. In order to turn a normal Dreco into a glossy Dreco, they need to be eating mealwood. And that's fine, we have that, absolutely. But in order to actually grow that plastic, they need to be hanging out in a mostly hydrogen environment. And that's where it gets a little bit tricky. I mean, there are pockets of hydrogen here and there, but most of them have chlorine gas in the way, and it's just going to be a mess. And I guess that one's not bad. We could use that. Or I could, as an alternate, research the electrolyzer and simply crack some water into some oxygen and hydrogen. So that's definitely an option as well. We're going to let the analyzer there finish before I do anything. But So there's options. I'm just not sure which one is going to make the most sense. And I guess the other thing we have to figure out is where exactly am I going to put this ranch? That is less certain. Maybe I do just take this. There's some polluted oxygen in there, but that's easily fixable. So there's already a good pocket of gas. There's some pincher for them to eat while we wait for some mealwood to grow. Because so I'll probably have to do a, either a farm tile or pip it in. Yeah, I'm starting to like this idea. Okay, so let's slow down a bit here and see about see about where these things are going to be. So let's make sure my floors are correct. Two, three, four, and then you. Okay, so I'm just putting some of these as spacers. Obviously I'm not expecting them to actually build any of this. I just want to see where... Actually, maybe... Yes. Okay, so I'm probably right. Let's not make it a very tall one. I suppose there's no reason I couldn't do that. Just put some airflow tiles in between so the hydrogen and oxygen can mess about as they whim. That's an idea. So we would have airflows in here. Right, the actual floor could be way down here and the ceiling up here somewhere. Okay. This could work. What all do we need for ranching to make it an actual proper state? So I think it's just any okay, any ranching building and the overall size has to be 96 or less. Okay. Well, I think we can absolutely do that. So we would definitely need a shearing station for sure. And do I want to pip? wild mealwood or do I want to just farm mealwood? I probably want to just farm it, so... So this is going to be basically 10 tiles high, effectively, right? 9, I guess. So it can only, can only really be about 10 squares across. So basically, in fact, I think this may even still be too far over. So I'm 
thinking this is going to be kind of the room. Something like that. How many tiles was that? Well, you won't tell me now. Good, thanks for that. Okay, that's 99 tiles, but by the time I put the air flows in, that'll knock that down a bit. Yeah, I think that will work. Obviously, I don't want to actually dig any of this out, but just so I see corners of the room, I will leave them in place. Okay. Alright. Good. I think I'm okay with that. Okay, so... Yeah, that's the basic corner. So I could either wall it off or just leave it as natural wall. I could probably just leave it as natural wall in all reality. So we'll airflow here. May not even need all the squares. It's more just for the dupes to be able to actually get up here to get at the Dracos. So. Okay, that that and then the shearing station can be somewhere in here like that yeah I'm liking that that would only give us though probably three meal woods maybe I do need to actually farm this because the raw ones you can really only have one Dreco for three or four plants if they're just wild but if they're domesticated ie in a farm box or hydroponics farm they would last so much better now mealwood I believe just needs dirt it can just be a normal farm okay and these can just be normal tile under here that's going to be our normal door situation and I think actually because there's going to be hydrogen in here. I think we're going to actually airlock it, even though it's probably not necessary. Those are just basically markers so I know where the floor properly lives. Okay. I am pretty good with this, I think. I'm going to leave these a bit open, so... So I don't really want my dupes ever, or do I? I don't know, maybe. I mean, I guess I can just put a couple in like that, something like that will do. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. There is some polluted gas in here, so I will want to at least temporarily have some way of making sure the air stays clean. It is unfortunate I'm going to lose this mirth leaf, but we'll just uproot it and that'll be fine. Same with this balm lily. Dig all that out. Dig all that out. Yeah, I am absolutely good with that. Good. Very good. Now let's give them a way to actually get at that. Uh oh. Nope. Not that way, though forgot about that, didn't we? Yes, I absolutely did. There's a volcano under there that we're deliberately not doing anyway. I don't think I want them going through the volcano to get at that, so how about instead we just let them come in this way. And I'll give them the option to go to either the oxygenated entrance or the hydrogen entrance whenever they're coming in that will be their choice and we can just bring this floor out like that good enough I could dig the oxalite out and store it but you'd lose some when you dig stuff so I'd rather just let it naturally burst so that may actually delay this building process a bit 
but that's totally fine. I don't mind that in the slightest. Point doing any of that. There we go. Okay. That eventually will be a Dreco Ranch. I guess the other thing I will need for it, of course, is power. Uh, the shearing station took was it 60? Yeah, just 60 watts. I don't need a full transformer there. Just I'll just wire it in. There's power there for something. I think I should be using copper, huh? Okay, that'll do. Right, printables. What have we got? I suppose the other thing I should check is see if I can just grab Dracos directly without having to go and dig them out. But either way, I'm not going to be taking one right now. I just wanted to think about that out loud. All right, I'm going to speed the video up here if this takes too long. Okay, that hardly took any time at all. Won't need much of a speed up. I'm just going to grab another wart, because I do like having automated cooling. And I guess that's the other good thing about having Dreco farming, is that will produce... Like, they produce uh, phosphite, uh, phosphorite, which is exactly what these guys want. Which means I'm better, or at least safer, to farm these instead of just putting them in natural, like I did down here. But either way, I wanted more wart, so I had more wart, and that would be good. This is still... yeah, the water the water coming in is too hot, and that's what's throwing them off. So even though the air temperature is being held here, that hot water is causing a problem. How's my ice doing? Have you melted yet? You have still not melted yet. Okay. But that will definitely help when that does go. We are keeping this up nicely. We actually have a good stack of clean water now. This is so much better than it was. I could actually probably shut this off. Did I ever put in anything, any automation on that? I don't know if I ever did. I was planning on doing it. I don't know if I ever did. No, I did not. Okay. I think we can shut this off whenever I have, you know, a good pile of water like this. So maybe I will add... A liquid element sensor. Maybe what about here? That's probably sufficient, right? Yeah, okay. And then we can wire that in. I could click the right buttons, if I could wire that in. make sure it's just the sieve this is hitting. I don't want that to have anything to do with these doors or anything. So, okay, so when there is water here, oh, that means I am going to need a knot gate, right? Where am I going to put my knot gate? I guess it's going to have to live over here. I don't really have a lot of room over here. Well, let's see if I can screw this one up again. <laughs> okay, so the side that receives the signal is the flared side. And I just pressed R to rotate. That's not the key. Okay, so I think it'll just be like that. So it means I actually did not need to snip the to cancel these wires, but that's okay very easily put back. Okay, no problem. And neither of you require power. Okay, good. So let's see how badly I screwed this one up, right? <laughs> I have to wait for them to actually build this for to be sure, but... but yeah, when I have this much water, I don't need to be actively sieving this stuff. It does not seem necessary. I suppose if I wanted to get real fancy, I could add a second sensor somewhere in here that says, hey, if you have too much yellow water, then start filtering it anyway, but I'm not going to worry about that for now. 
while they're doing that, did my pip ever... No, you just don't want to do this, do you? Well, I'm going to give you a little bit more time, but then I think we are going to... We're going to give up on that. Could it be the pipes? I mean, it shouldn't be the... Those pipes don't bother plants, right? No, plants don't bother. Pipes and plants don't care about each other because that's background layer. So why are you not doing that? I called you the hero of the last episode. Don't, uh, don't make a liar out of me. Well, I have about 30 more days of your use and then I'm going to need you to Give me a new pip, or I'm going to have to print a new one. If I called you a hero, and this is how you're treating me. Not cool, buddy. <laughs> Not cool at all. That's the other thing. I might want a wart down here. If this whole area is less temperate, then this would be less of a problem. So maybe I will bring... Where is my wart seed that I just got? You are still there. Perfect. Let's bring you down here and see if the pip will at least do that for me. So that would at least be helpful. There you go. You have work to do. Get it. Get it. No? Not get it? Well, that's granite, not actual dirt. That might be part of the problem why you won't do this one. Yeah, this is all a rock here. So you're not going to want to do that. Now you might want to do it. Now it's actual dirt. Okay, you are done. You are going to be plain water. So you're sending a green because you have some. So you are being turned to a red. So you should be disabled. Yes, perfect. That is now working. So not only will that save us some power, 120 watts, but it'll also be saving us on the... Does this use sand or clay? Sand, I guess. Good. Okay. I kind of want it here, but you know what? That's totally fine, too. That does mean there's now no chance that this Peppa is ever getting there. Unless, of course... Not the pipe, just the tile place. I will try one more thing here and that's to put a dirt tile here. And we'll see if that does the trick. But otherwise I don't think it's going to happen because the, the Peppa won't fit here because they are a size 3 plant from what I remember. So there you go. I'm going to give you another minute to do that. You can see it. It's an easy climb. I'll let you do that. Meanwhile, these future Dreco. Okay. So basically, once this is done, then they can get at that. Yeah, I completely forgot about this volcano. That would have been really bad. <laughs> I absolutely do not want. What is this like a yeah, 1700 degrees? That would just be nuts. Absolutely nuts. Anyway, did we ever finish the analysis here? We did. Excellent. Okay, so you run 73 days out of 120, and you're actually, you start up again real soon. So it's good we're done that. Temperature should be pretty well blocked in here. Reasonably enough, anyway. Okay, good. The other, what was the other thing? Oh yeah, I was doing an exploratory here. That's unreachable. Sorry. <laughs> I thought you could go diagonally, but I guess I am wrong. Fair enough. Yeah, that's just my room marker ladder. I was trying to remember why I put a ladder there, not a, because I usually use tiles, not ladders, but that's to mark where the ladder would be if I was building rooms. So that part's fine. There we go. Now you're doing this again. So you have stuff to do, because I wouldn't want you bored. <laughs> okay, we have absolute 
tons and tons and tons of gas. So you should have no trouble being run at all times if the automation grid wants you to, which it should most of the time. I have noticed though that we only had four of these to go and you still haven't done it and that tells me I'm out of uranium. So somebody could go and please get you some more uranium. We can get that botanical analyzer on the go. And then we still have, of course, this one here. So I guess we should actually be grabbing something and sending it through there. And I guess it doesn't really matter what. So we could start with our pip. Since we're then going to be moving him back to the park anyway. Probably would be fine. And it's clear he's not interested in the slightest in doing this for me. Okay, buddy. Congratulations. You're off to go get scammed. Which hopefully is not a painful process. I don't think it is, but hopefully it's not. <laughs> Speed you up a bit. We should see somebody, probably Devin, but somebody. Nope, it's not a bit doing it this time. You dropped an egg instantly and it's a cuddle pip. Oh, those are absolutely adorable. Oh, I can't wait to have that out. That's going to be spectacular. Now, can oh, you might not be able to get through there because there's probably there might be too much water in the way. That might be blo considered blocked. No problem, we can absolutely do that. That and I want that cuddle pip egg to come out somewhere in the base where we know where it is. I don't have storage around here super close actually why don't I just do an arbitrary move and then it doesn't actually matter where's that cuddle pip egg you're just going to move you immediately over to the park perfect excellent all right yes I absolutely want a cuddle pip they are just adorable oh you will go through there so I actually don't need to Mop. Well, you can mop it anyway. It's fine, but I didn't actually need to. There we go. Ocular splinters. That sounds terrible. <laughs> Neat. Anyway, with that, you can now be brought back home to the park and with that i think we are going to call it an episode so this by itself is the absolute victory of the episode nothing else i did mattered these are just amazing <laughs> anyway we're going to call it there so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed and if you did please leave a like and a comment if you haven't already please do subscribe it really does help other than that we'll catch you in the next episode have a good one see ya